Uh, welcome back guys. I uh, My previous video was on Sparky Linux and I really uh, am enjoying it. But right now I'm on my other computer, uh, the secondary computer, and uh, it doesn't have uh, Broadcom uh, Wi-Fi and it does not have an NVIDIA graphics card. It's got integrated graphics. And as you can see, I'm at my uh, Linux Lite desktop. So uh, on this particular computer I have Windows uh, and I'll show you the configuration on the uh, on the partitioning. Okay so on my uh, SDA my first hard drive I have Windows my second hard drive is the Linux Lite uh, distribution that you're seeing which is why this shows up uh, it's not I because I'm in Linux Lite it, the system will not let me make any changes to the petitioning okay the next hard drive is um, Voyager Ubuntu uh, and that is modifiable you can see it is not locked then I've got a backup a hard drive uh, it's a three terabyte and I have a uh, USB drive attached so what I want to do since I installed Sparky Linux Mate on my other computer I am going to install Sparky Linux XFCE on this computer. Now I need to be able to install it. I don't have another hard drive so I need to be able to install it on one of my existing drives. I don't want to do it on the Windows drive and I don't want to do it on Linux Lite. But I, I will install it to this third SSD but in order to do that I have to free up some space and I'm going to show you how to do that within Gparted. Now if you don't have Gparted on your system you can install it sudo apt-get Gparted apt-get install Gparted and that'll bring that program in and you'll be able to uh, resize your petitions. Now if you only have one partition, uh, one hard drive, and you want to resize it, you'll need to boot off of a USB. So if you, uh, let's say you put um, Ubuntu uh, on a distribution on a USB, you can boot into that, the live version, and, mod and use Gparted that comes with the uh, install uh, program and resize your hard drive but you can't do it from if you're booted to the hard drive okay so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna des I'm gonna leave the EFI boot petition the green one here at the front I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm going to use that when I install Sparky and I'm also gonna use the swap when I install Sparky so what's going to happen is I'm going to shrink SDC2 down so that I can fit Sparky onto a separate petition. Okay, and how we do that is we click on it and we resize. Now, all you do is you get the see the little arrow. It ch changes from a hand to an arrow once you see that arrow on the right left click it and slide and then you can decide how much room you need for your new distribution so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna give it 50 gig and I'm gonna leave Linux Lite with 55 actually let me leave Linux Lite with 60 Okay, so now you can see I've got my existing Linux Lite 
I'm sorry, my existing Voyager Ubuntu uh, petition is 60 and my new Sparky uh, XFCE will be almost 46. Okay, and no free space preceding. Okay, so I'm going to click resize. Once I have it where I want it, you, come, you go down here and click resize. And as you can see the configuration. It's not done yet, but it's showing you what it's going to look like. So this is my Voyager Ubuntu, and this will be my Sparky Linux XFCE. But in order to finalize this, I have to click this arrow. See this arrow here? So once I click it, it's going to shrink this petition and create some unallocated free space. And I'm going to do that now. Now normally this doesn't take too long because I'm not moving any data. The data is here. All I'm doing is capturing the free space in a separate petition. So this normally would not take very long. And what I'm going to do once I finish, once this finishes, then I will boot from the uh, Sparky Linux XFCE USB, which I al already have prepared, and I will install it to this new petition and I will resume the video once this uh, process is complete. Okay guys, so now you can see all operations successfully completed. I now have my uh, Ubuntu Voyager uh, on a smaller petition and I freed up some space for Sparky Linux. I'm going to close that out <coughs> and gparted now if you look at the disk you can see how it and I'm not going to format this yet I'll let the install the Sparky Linux install format that petition so I'm going to uh, I'm going to finish this video and then I'll create another video for the for the install of Sparky Linux and show you this completed uh, repartitioning of this disk. Welcome back guys. I thought I'd uh, finish up this video and give you a, a look at uh, the actual install of Sparky Linux. Now I, ha I ran into a little problem when I went back to the Sparky Linux website to download the XFCE version. That version uh, was corrupted. Uh, I burned it to a USB, but it wouldn't install on any of my computers, so it, had hung, it hung up at the same spot. So I went back and I downloaded the Sparky Linux LXDE version, burned that to a USB and had no problem at all. And that's what you see here. This is the uh, Sparky Linux Debian uh, with the LXDE uh, desktop interface. Uh, I installed it to the disk that we reviewed prior. Um, the, when we repetitioned that disk to make space for this install, you remember how it looked. This is the drive that we talked about. This is the Ubuntu Voyager. This is the new Sparky Linux. This is the petition. This is the free space that I freed up and this is where I installed Sparky Linux that's the system that you're looking at right now that's why it has a little lock on that petition because uh, it cannot be modified as long as I'm running off it this is the uh, SDD2 which is the Ubuntu Voyager and there is no lock there so if I wanted to modify that I could um, and that's that's the way partitioning works. You cannot modify a partition when you're mounted to it. So uh, the install went fine, no problems at all. Um, I still want to 
go back and see if they get that XFCE problem fixed because I would like to look at that. I do prefer the XFCE desktop interface to the LXDE, but this is perfectly fine for now. Uh, I've got the petition set up so I can reinstall pretty much anything that I want. Um, and so that wraps this video up. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And I will see you next time, guys.